Hey, today I'm going to show you Carista, which is a nice little interface for your car to customize some features. It comes with an app for iOS and Android, and if you buy this device from uh, from Amazon, links in the description, you get a 30-day free trial for the full functionality uh, that comes with the Carista application. And you don't have to use this interface with the Carista app because you can use a generic uh, Elm 327 Wi-Fi interface if if you are not afraid to use some uh, cheap Chinese interface in your car. This device is so elegant that I had to change my background music to fit better the, the mood. As you can see it's very small and light, compact and clean design and you want to use it for diagnostic and coding in your car. This device supports BMW cars, Volkswagen Group, so you got Volkswagen, Audi, Seat, Skoda and uh, Toyota, Lexus I believe and few others. And using this and the software that comes with it is very simple. If you ever wanted to change coding in your car, activate some, activate some features or uh, adjust some advanced settings, you had to use a diagnostic interface. For BMW you had to use INPA for diagnostic or NCS Expert for uh, coding in your car, but those, uh, those uh, programs are very, very hard to use. For Volkswagen Group cars, you can use the VCDS, which is a third-party third application. It's not a dealer level, level software. Capability of VCDS is limited, but is uh, wide enough for uh, standard use. Carista application and interface does not give you the full uh, full options for coding or adaptation in your car, but give you some thing functions that you can enable or disable or adjust in your car, and give you access only to those features. And the application is so easy to use that if you ever change your uh, ringtone or wallpaper in your phone, this is as easy as that. Okay, so let's say I want to change something in my BMW E87. I have the Carista interface plugged into the OBD2 port. I have the Carista application on my phone and Bluetooth enabled. So let's go to the Carista app. And over here I can go to Diagnose, Customize or Perform Service Inspection Reset. Make sure that your ignition is on and let's go to Customize. Right now Carista is connecting to my car, connect, uh, talking with all the modules that are installed over here, checking what features are uh, available, which are enabled, which are disabled, what can be adjusted, and in a few seconds I get a full list of things that I can change, modify, turn on or turn off in my car. Let's give it a few more seconds and... Let's check what can I do over here. Okay, so let's go to doors, windows and remote. Over here I have all the functions that are um, corresponding to the uh, central locking features in this car. I can adjust uh, if all doors should close or open with a single press, how long I should press the lock button on the remote to um, close the windows and hold my side mirrors. And as I said, this application is as easy to use as changing your changing your um, wallpaper in your phone. So let's say I want to make the delay, how long I need to press the lock button on the remote, to fold my mirrors to one second. So let's swipe over here, press save, wait a few seconds, and done, that's it. We have, for example, the double impulse hazard lights. Right now I have a standard single impulse. So let's check how it will, how it will work after we change it to the double, double impulse. Let's say that's enabled, let's save it. Wait a few seconds. And that's it. 
if one day you will have a fault message on your instrument cluster, you can just go to go to diagnose, and once again, Carista is connecting to your car, talking with all the modules, and in a few seconds, we will have a full list of the faults that are stored in the in the car. While we are waiting for the diagnose to complete, I can show you some activations I made in few cars. I've tested this device in Audi A5, Q5, A6, uh, S6, Q7, Skoda Yeti, in BMW 1 Series and X1, the E84 model, in Volkswagen Touareg and Volkswagen Caddy. And I've done some activations like uh, lap timers, hidden menu in the MMI system. I activated the Audi Drive Select system. Uh, in BMWs, uh, I activated the folding mirrors and the digital speedometer in the instrument cluster. It's also possible to enable fog lights as cornering lights and adjust the daytime running lights uh, LEDs brightness. And the full list of this device capability is in the link. Uh, the link is in the description below this video, so check it out. 98, 99, 100. Okay, I have 12 faults detected in my car. Three of those are in engine module, which is a DPF warning, glow plugs on, glow plug warning on cylinder two, and I have a back pressure sensor on bank one fault. Traction control brake pads, uh, uh, brake pads were uh, sensors. That's true because I did replace my brake, pa brake pads, but didn't replace the sensor. Instrument cluster power supply switched off. Yes, that's true because I played around with the fuse box. And the center roof control has uh, faults for all the LEDs, the, all the bulbs that I changed to LEDs. I also have a left fog light fault, which is true because I wanted to check if an LED H8 bulb will fit in my car. And I have a junction box fault, which is related to the water pump uh, under the hood, which is true because I disconnected this, uh, this uh, water pump when I played around with the water hoses. Okay, so over here, you can you can save uh, save those logs and if some error is not described you can just click on it and it will take you to google with bmw code and the code number and you can check on message boards what is this code related to let's go back to the app and at the bottom of the of the screen you also have a reset all button which we want to use right now to reset all faults in this car, which is uh, not possible with the standard OBD2 tools. Okay, that's it. If you are interested in this uh, software and this uh, interface, uh, please check the description below. You can find this uh, on uh, App Store, on your Google Play Store, and the device uh, is available on Amazon. Thank you for watching, check my other tutorials and reviews and see you soon.